So in this lecture, we are going to know about how to import and export files in Hypermesh. If you go to the file option from here, you will see file, you will see new, open, save, save as. Similarly, we have also import option and export option. You can also find these options here. You can see this is open. This is for new model. This is open. Here you will see import and export files. So we are going to know about how we can import the files and how can we export them. First of all, let's understand how to import the files. By default, Hypermesh file format is .hm file format. So if you want to open any file that is of Hypermesh, you need to go to this file and open. So here go to the folder of 2D Mesh in your project files, go to import export folder. Here I have kept some files. So first of all, let me open up the file that is bumper.mid1. Select this file and then open this. Now you can see a hypermesh file will be open. So here you can see blue color and yellow color. So here you will also see the mesh is highlighting. So if you go to this model here and okay, so click on this model and then go to the components. Click on this arrow to expand the components. And here you will see center and mid. So along with this, you will see two options highlighting. One is for mesh. If you click on this, you can see the mesh will hide. And for the second option, it is for the surface. You can see surface. Similarly, second one is the mid. You can see this yellow color that is mid component. Now, if you want to open any new file here, what you can do is you can go to this new. Now it is asking us to delete all the data. I will say yes. Okay, so now it is a new HM. And if you want to once again open up the file, click on this open or you can go to open from here. I will click on open and select this file. So this is the first way of importing the file. Second one is let's say I want to import any HM file in this current session. So I don't want to delete this. I want to import in this session. To do this, we need to use the import options. So here you will see import options. Also, you can go to file, import, and you will see multiple options here. So I will go to this shortcut from here. Click on this arrow along with this import. You will see import model, import solver deck, import geometry, and some other options. So we are going to import the hypermesh file. So for this, you need to click on this option of first option, import model. Now here, click on this browse window. Select the location. I'm going to import the file that is bumper mid. Open. Now there are some options like component offset, properties, etc. So right now, keep them as default. We will cover them later in the course. But okay, so click on import. Now click on close. Now you will see in the model, you will see three components. You will see another green color component here that is mid. So if I turn off the mesh, you can see here is the surface. And if I turn off the surface, you can see this component is hidden. So once again, click on this and click on this. So in this way, we have import the file in this current session. Okay, now in hypermesh, we have some more options. For example, let's say I will go to import we have option like import the geometry. So in this geometry, we can only import the geometry. First of all, you can see there's some part selected. Click on remove all. If it is highlighting, click on remove all option. Now, let's say I want to import some another file format. For example, we have native CAT format like CATIA, SOLIDWORKS, Pro Engineer, CREO. We have IGS, STP file, etc. So these are very popular file formats for the geometry. So let's say I want to import the IGS file. So here we can select the type of file or we can also select auto detect. It will automatically detect the file format. Click on browse window. So I have one IGS file here. So IGS file only contains the geometry. Click on open. Now you can see this part is selected here. 
in the below here we have some option like hierarchy as assembly parts so keep them as default and here are the units we are going to select the default units here we can also select some clean the parameters just select them automatic as default click on this file and click on import now you can see the surface has been imported go to model and if you go to the component here you will see the component for here with some name and if I turn it off you can see the there is no mesh here IGS file contains only the geometry you can turn on and off the surface also you can see the wireframe surface from here if you go to this option wireframe here it will show the wireframe only I will select it as filled surface by clicking on this option of shaded geometry okay now in uh, hypermesh you can also import the solver DAC file so solver DAC file does not contain the surface it contains mesh properties loads etc if you go to the import option here click on solver DAC now in the type of file format we have multiple solvers like OptiStruct, Radios, Abacus, LSDyna and we have many more options now we are going to import the OptiStruct file format for the OptiStruct the file format is .fem click on browse specify the location select bumper.n.rigid file this is you can see .fem file double click on this here we have some options keep them as default and import so it is going to show some warning that there is some undefined property right now there is no need of it so just ignore it click on close and click on close now here you can see you will see only the mesh okay so here the mesh is contained in this let me check where is the mesh just pick and open it okay so the mesh is in this end file okay so end and others are empty to delete the empty you can you can go to this delete option go to component I will click preview empty you can see you can see three components are empty click on delete so basically it will delete all the empty components so you can see in this end if I go to this end right click and you will see isolate only with this option it is going to isolate it so here you can see if I try to rotate this so try to rotate you can see it is only containing the mesh and if I turn it on here the surface now the surface is on if you want to show everything just go to component right click show okay so in this way we can import the file now let's say I want to export the file so here you will go to this export solver DAC in this export solver DAC so you will see there are multiple options like export model export solver DAC export geometry export model means we want to export it as hypermesh file format solver DAC is whenever we want to export it as a solver only mesh and export as geometry when we want to export only the geometry or the surface so we are going to cover these options later in the course when we go through multiple examples there you will understand them properly I will close this and if you want to save any hypermesh file you can go to file save as just like we do in every just like we do here you can give it some name like this is mid2 or any name and click on save here you can see type of file format will be .hm save so in this way you can import or export the files in hypermesh